Hey everybody, it's Lear from Lear Gaming, and I am back for another Tiny Tina's Wonderlands video for you. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to farm and how to identify the best weapon for any summoner build. This weapon I have found, this weapon type, to be by far the most effective for a summoner. And so you're going to want to try and get one of these for yourself as soon as possible. Now, the weapon in question is the one I have equipped here. It is called, it is part of that Farrier line. And what's very important of this is that we're looking for a very specific factor here that it says, when thrown, create a massive lightning bolt. And this is important because when it does that, it's actually going to uh, summon Hydras. Now, what's really weird is I have found that when you, up, uh, when you go and work on a bench with it, it will sometimes completely delete that line, but it's still there. Or in this case, it mentioned the lightning bolt, but it no longer mentions the fact that it summons a Hydra, but it does both no matter what. So this is huge. Now let me explain why this is the best weapon type for this. So you can get this effect, this uh, basically when you reload, you get this massive lightning bolt and then it summons a Hydra on any farrier weapon but you want to put it on a pistol because of the reload time it has the fastest reload time of any of the weapons and you want to make sure that you can reload as quickly as possible once you get some buffs to your reload time it's not unusual to get a sub one second reload so the way this works is you're going to basically want to hold down your shoot button and then you can just keep tapping your refresh or your reload and notice it basically, if your refresh is fast enough, you won't even get a shot off or you'll get a really quick shot off there. And then you're gonna be reloading here. Look at how many of these I have. Basically, you, you can get about four, five or six of these up at a, any given time. And what's important, unlike the other guns like this that just drop them, you also do a massive amount of damage when that javelin, the lightning bolt strikes. So this is by far the best, the most efficient way of summoning hydras in addition to your other methods while also keeping nice dps from your direct fire now what's the best way to farm this the solution is right where i'm standing here so you can of course just randomly get these as you play but once you get to the end game the end game is the chaos chamber so you'll get this after level 40 after every single run you're going to end up in a room like this i just finished a chaos uh, 20 run and you'll notice in the upper right hand corner. I have 6,892 Gems that is a ton of gems. I don't spend much and I max everything out generally so that gets really high And so you can notice There's these weird regurgitating rabbits everywhere And so they have icons for every type of weapon in a game and every type of armor This is basically a targeted gambling system and you can get any type of weapon any world drop weapon everywhere from uncommon or common all the way to legendary and so this costs 500 each so right now i'm going to get more than i can hold so i'm going to be able to do this 12 times or goodness gracious 13 times let's see what happens and i'll kind of show you the results all right so here's everything we got and here we go let's take a quick look uh explode so this one is the other, another way of getting notice these do explosion on impact and multi uh hydra this one is not bad, but it doesn't do as much direct damage. That's why I like the, the lightning one kind of packs a bigger punch against one elite unit. I do note here we have one that does say when thrown creates a massive lightning bolt, but this one just doesn't happen to summon a lightning, which is a little interesting and odd uh, because the other ones kind of said very similar text. And then I did want to kind of show off the kind of runner up for this. Uh, this is the one that says thrown weapons explode on impact and morph into a multi hit hydro companion. So compared to the lightning one, it doesn't do nearly as much damage on impact, but it does summon a hydra that hits three times. So potentially, depending on the power level, this could be better than the other one. But I just have found that the actual direct lightning bolts that summon them just do so much damage directly versus this is a passive kind of dps uh it's going to be a close call i haven't calculated the exact differences but this is at the very least 
and decent backup. Just don't expect to, you know, melt enemies throwing this at their head. While the lightning very, uh, very possibly will melt them, it also has a much different range. So here you can go decently like that. The lightning bolt, you're actually not throwing the weapon. You're throwing a lightning bolt. Uh, if you've seen my video for my ultimate summoner build, you'll see me throwing lightning across the map and does really, really good damage. It's really, really accurate. So definitely check out that video to see the full potential of this weapon. With that being said, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, drop comments. Let me know your feedbacks. Uh, have you found any other weapons that are really good for this? Have you found any legendaries that would fill a similar role? I've been looking for one that kind of was optimal for a summoner. I just haven't found one. This is the best I have found so far. If I find something better, I'll make sure to share it with you guys. All right, again, thank you for all the support, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.